So that implies that a Maori cop also has a really low power distance, which gives Maori this disadvantage this, this as well. So it's a nice thing to think about. So your culture is what one way or another has given you these opportunities, but also, also some of these challenges. The, um, another, another thing about the culture is the, is the language. We, were, we, we probably all know the stereotypes of the Asians for the past. It's funny. Why is it important? It's actually built into their language. It's, so when we, the, 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 the names of all the numbers are really small, so they can fit more numbers into their head than one of so Cantonese has the has the shortest, so you can some that can tap up goes up and it's a Where the English one two, three, four, five, six, yes, everything's drawn out. We can only fit about half as many numbers in our head because our short term memory is so long. If we're trying to do maths, we have silly, silly uh, names like eleven. So when we get eleven, we have in our head goes ten plus one. And if we started doing the calculations, we have to do from eleven to ten plus one. Around. In Chinese, there's 10-1. 10-1, 10 10, 10, 10, 2, 10, 3. In 20, which we had to convert to 2, 0, they had 2, 10. So 21, 2, 10, 1, 2, 10, 2. It's just so logical. So before they even start, they've got this massive abundant thing in the calculation. So how does that affect you? When you're 5 years old, in your head, you're already a year ahead of everybody else. Then, if you're gonna, then you're gonna find it easy, so then you're gonna enjoy it. And better and better. So that's a disadvantage for most of you. <laughs> so that's just another thing to be recognised. The fact is, there are these. This is luck that you're. Okay, so I've given you some some. Things that you've got very little control over, although you could, uh, but, but, but if you're aware of it, then you can start saying, well, I can, I can, I can engineer my life around these, these problems. But how, do you get, but how can you make the most of it? How can you create it? If luck is where preparation, where opportunity is preparation, and you do that preparation. And there's this lovely, all that will be a slightly controversial theory about 10,000 hours. If you want to become the elite at something, so the theory goes that you need to do 10,000 hours. So that, that, that pretty much equates to doing 10 years, 10 years hardcore when you want to be. It's going to be all back, it's going to be whatever. And certainly in the premature discipline, so uh, rugby, tennis, golf, yes, uh, engineering, uh, those, those ten, it, it seems that, that those 10,000 hours are, are pretty helpful. Now one thing that you are uh, like at this school is that if you've got one of those passions that lies outside of the normal academic sphere, like golf or uh, cricket, football, rugby, you've got your academy here, which allows you three to five hours extra a week of training over some of your counterparts. And you're talking about 10 years of work to get those extra five hours a week that's going on. It's a big deal fun. Now, we can't get too hung up on this 10,000 hour theory. If, if you do, you, you will also miss out on one on, on up, on other opportunities. Certainly, the likes of Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, uh, Steve Joy, the inventor of the internet, these guys are computer nerds that build up their 10,000 hours being computer geeks at the time the computers took off. So they were, again, they were lucky they'd done their 10,000 hours at the time of the world change, and they were the most popular people in the world. But Richard Branson didn't do 10,000 hours. He invented Netflix didn't do 10,000 hours. He invented Skype So you need to, you need to work your butt off, but you need to be ready for that opportunity when you can do something. So how is this, how is this all this stuff related to, to my story? Well, I guess one of the questions would be, am I, am I ever successful? And I think, as I said, it's a, it's a deeply personal thing. I could talk to different people, and some people say, oh, maybe I'm going to go to the brewery and a couple of restaurants. And some people go, well, I'm going to go to the brewery and a couple of restaurants. So, it, yeah, it, it, it depends on your perspective. Uh, 
Um, so many I've got good businesses, got a happy family, and I've got kids on the way uh, to, to achieve what they want to So, what do I call it? Then, where did this come from? So, I come from a multicultural background? Why not? Why not? Why not? So, my Yeah. 
the Indonesian and he but he's nice to people in a sport where everyone's horrible to each other. And he gets a phone call uh, about two months ago. And one of the richest men in New Zealand has had him on the show and says, I want you to be my professional wife. So he's going to have access to a million dollar horses. He's going to, I don't know if you've heard of Mark Todd, he's going to be living in Mark Todd's house. His best horse, Mark Todd's best horse career, Mark Todd's horse. And, and well, he's going to have his horses in Jerusalem State. So it's a, that's lucky, eh? But he's done the preparation. So, so my advice to you, how does this play? In no particular order, well, I recommend surrounding yourself with people. Um, and that will mean different things to you. You know, that, 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 I'm not just saying cool people, but people that you admire their happiness, their success, their ambition. Um, and, and as I said before, I recognize the gender that is Work hard. Whatever you do, be, the, be as good at it as you can be. Because if you decide you're not going to do it, you move on with that person that you are you're working hard on, thinking that you are great. And if, and if they think you're great, they will get opportunities for you as well. And actually, this is, this is like our third point where we relate back to what Mr. Winter said about uh, what you should expect from yourself. Expect success. Expect excellence. If you expect success and you fail, you, you, you question it, you question yourself, you question the evidence that measures you, that, that is the root of success. So uh, the last one is be lucky. Be lucky. Two steps, one, two, and three, and I guarantee you'll be lucky. <coughs> so if I can just finish with a quote from um, Franz Johansson. He says that success, success is random, and it's far more random than we come to believe. The second is that there, is, there are a number of specific actions that an individuals and organizations can take, actions you can take to capture that randomness and focus it in 